Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be answering a quick question that I got on my last tutorial, which says, can you please make a video on how to make a monster cat background like you did there? So if you guys don't know, it's referring to this background that I used in that video. If you want to download that background and save yourself the hassle of making one, you can feel free to go to this link, which I'll post in the video's description, which will have a download to the wallpaper that I made. So I'm going to show you guys the basic idea of creating a wallpaper for, I guess, Monster Cat Media. I made this because I couldn't find any good Monster Cat Media backgrounds, and I'm a huge fan of theirs, so I wanted to have a desktop wallpaper, you know look at and be all nice and stuff. So I decided to make my own just for personal use and I put it here for download in case you guys wanted to try that out. But this person over here wants to apparently make his own. So I'm going to show you the basics behind making your own. So essentially what you're only going to want to do is you're going to want to take the Monster Cat logo and put it onto any background that you want. Now I'm going, I'm not going to show you how to make this exact one, but I am going to walk you through making the Monster Cat logo so that you guys can put it in your own wallpapers. So to do that, we are going to go over here to our desktop and we're going to use a combination of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop to get this done. You can use any versions of Illustrator or Photoshop, but I'm going to be using CS6 to get the job done today. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into Adobe Illustrator first, and we are going to recreate the Monster Cat Media little Monster Cat logo. So to do that, I'm just going to go to File, New, and I'm just going to create a basic um, 800 by 800 is perfectly fine for me. I'm going to click OK, and that'll bring up a blank window right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to find a template of something to trace over of the logo. So I have this Monster Cat JPEG that I just Googled and I found this image right here. And we're essentially going to use this to trace over the Monster Cat and basically make the logo. So I'm going to import this into Adobe Illustrator. And here we go. And I'm just going to resize that for the time being. And we're going to use this as our template to recreate the Monster Cat logo. So what I normally like to do is I like to lock this first layer and then create a new layer. And this new layer is where we are going to recreate the logo. Now we're going to be recreating the logo using the good old pen tool. So this right over here is the pen tool or you could just press P on your keyboard. And essentially, if you guys have never used Illustrator before, the pen tool basically you click and it makes an anchor point and then you move over and you click again and it would make a line. And if you click down, you can also move it around to create arcs and shapes. And if you hold it down and trace something like this, you can hold down the Option or Alt key to move this point, which will essentially allow you to create all kinds of shapes and things like that. And so all of those shapes that we're going to be using with the pen tool are how we are going to recreate the Monster Cat logo. Essentially what you're going to want to do is use the pen tool to trace out the entirety of the logo. So just trace out the outside of the logo and uh, do everything from there. Normally I like to start off with the tail at first, but I'm going to show you a technique that you're going to be using through all of this, which will allow you to cut out the little areas in here. Like let's say I want to cut out his mouth and I want to cut out this little bit between his tail. So what we're going to be using for that is the Pathfinder tool. So I'm just going to make a quick little square right here and I'll change the color to green. And let's say I want to make another little square and uh, I'll make that yellow. And let's say I want to cut this yellow square out of the green square. To do that, we're going to need to use the Pathfinder tool. So to get the Pathfinder tool, you just go up to Window and then you choose Pathfinder. And that will, oop, I hit it. So if we go over here and Pathfinder, it'll bring up this little box right here with the Pathfinder tool. So what you want to do is you want to select the area in which you want to have the things cut out as well as the thing that you want to cut out. So I'm going to hold down Shift and click that and that will select both of the things over here. And then what you do is you click this minus front button. And now as you can see, we've cut that shape out of the green and we have a little window hole right there. And you essentially want to do the same thing with the Monster Cat logo. Just outline the shape with the pen tool and then move that to the side and create more little shapes for all of the negative space and then use the Pathfinder tool to get rid of that. So I'm not going to show you the entire process word for word of me recreating the Monster Cat, but I will time lapse it for you guys so that you guys can actually see me doing it. So without further ado, I will move on over to the time lapse.
right everybody so we are back and now as you can see i've outlined the shape of the monster cat logo with the uh yellowish and then i made the green the uh, shapes that we want to cut out so i'm just going to uh, move this up a little bit more to make it match and actually i'm going to select this with it and now we have everything perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the background of the monster cat and then i'm going to hold down shift and select the green which is the areas that we want to take out and then i'm going to go here to my pathfinder tool and click on minus front and then as you can see it has removed all of the green shapes from the yellow shape and now what i can do is i can just hold down shift and select this shape down here again right click and group them together to make them one object and now as you can see we have a little yellow monster cat so i'm going to hide the background and as you can see we have our little yellow monster cat logo right here so i'm just going to select that and i'm going to change the color of it to black and there we go we have a black recreation of the monster cat media logo now i would recommend that you guys spend more time on tracing it out than i did right here but i already have one made and i just use this one to demonstrate the technique within doing so so what we want to do now is we want to export this and we want to import it into adobe photoshop so i'm just going to export it as a png image so i'm going to go to file export and then I'm going to export it to PNG and I'm just going to save that to the desktop for now. So click export. That's just perfectly fine. We exported it as a PNG because we wanted to have it. We want it to have a transparent background so that we can insert it on any wallpaper of our choosing. So I'm just going to quit out of Illustrator for now. And as you can see, we have our monster cat PNG image right here. And now we want to open that up with Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do before we start making our wallpapers is uh, let me just grab this right here. I have this blue matrix background thingy majigger that I, uh, I made really quickly before I started this video. If you guys want to see the technique behind making this background, I'll leave, I'll leave you guys a link in the description to a video I made like last year demonstrating how to make this little wallpaper technique right here. And as you can see, I already played around with making some of the uh, wallpaper things right here. But uh, for the moment, I'm just going to delete those layers so that we can start fresh with our brand new Monster Cat logo. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it in. And uh, that's a little small, but we're going to click enter and oops, that's perfectly fine. So now we have our monster cat, as you can see right here. So what I want to do is I want to create a new layer and I want to have that surrounded in kind of like a, a circle like we saw earlier. So I'm just going to create a quick circle. I'm going to make it white and I'm going to put it right here and then i'm going to align my monster cat into the center of the circle so now we have it sitting right there now you can continue to customize this any way that you want to you can add in like little little like bars of text and things like that like as you can see here what i did with mine was i put the monster cat in the middle of my logo and then had like things for all of the different playlists and shows that they have there so you can feel free to customize this any way that you want to but the last thing that i want to show you is the uh, font that i actually use for this so to make some text i'm going to create a uh, just a, a white rectangle to put my text in so i'm just going to I'm just going to have it right there and I want the text to say, I don't know, Monster Cat. So I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to be using the font Ubuntu Title FR, which I will link in the video's description in case you guys want to download it. And so then I'm just going to click anywhere and I'm going to type in, I don't know, just Monster Cat. And I'm going to change the color of the text to black so that it will work on our white background very nicely. And then I'm just going to resize it now this is just a very uh a very simple basic wallpaper just to give you guys the idea i don't want to give you guys just like something to follow and so everyone has the same background i want everybody to use this technique and make their own background so that they have a very customized experience so that is pretty much it for the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed i will leave the links to everything i talked about in the video's description as well as a link to download my wallpaper this is just a wallpaper made from a fan for fun i don't intend to do any kind of copyright infringement or anything like that just in case anyone from monster cat is watching i'm not trying to make money off of this or anything but i'd like to say thank you to for your comment down here and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye